stupid. Cream, lactose, feeding that sugar addiction. My biggest hurdle, because it is, it's my biggest hurdle. Hey, my carnivore family, how's it going? It has been so long since I have just sat down in front of the camera, just me, the camera, no schedule, no recipes, no topic that I have to adhere to. The next video we got coming up is a recipe video. I just, I don't know, I just felt like hitting record. Larry and I started October 2020. Because the struggle is real. <laughs> when you're a food addict, the struggle is real. Several bumps in the road, and I told Larry exactly what had happened. And he gave me all the support that I needed, saying, don't worry about it, it's a little blip, it's just a bump in the road. You could have done so much worse. Oh, honey, you could have done a lot worse than you did. Yeah, definitely. Just a little blip in the road. Okay. All right, I'll see you here. Love you. Hey, Larry! Mom blew it. And slips and falls. If you're anything like me and Cassie, don't cheat. We've gained some weight. Yeah. Look at the jiggle. Look at the jiggle. We've known all along that carnivore is the way. It's the only way that we can beat the sugar addiction, heal our bodies in the process, and that's it. All the sugar has to go. And for the last two and a half years, let's say, um, I have still struggled with the sugar addiction. There's room for error on carnivore. There's no doubt about that. Getting too comfortable on this diet can be a little bit dangerous because at least for me, I have the mindset of any like animal product such as dairy. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it comes from animals, you know? And it just kind of slowly creeps its way back in. One thing's for certain, the heavy cream was never much of an issue until I think it was day 80. We got the frother. Oh, that frother. Larry had watched a, another uh, YouTuber, uh, Dr. Kimberry's wife, Nisha. She recommended egg yolk in your coffee. So he went out and bought this nifty little device. It's, I've had the best coffee. I've ever had, especially these last few weeks, I've been putting more heavy cream in my coffee. I've been drinking more coffee, but y'all are definitely right about the heavy cream. And that is truly a struggle of mine. I'm not sure how I'm gonna defeat that one. I've been working it out in my head and every day I say, okay, I'm gonna wake up and I'm not having heavy cream until four o'clock in the afternoon. I make it a half hour. That frother was the end game for me or maybe the beginning of something. Let me, I'll get back to that. But the frother was the end game because I started consuming so much cream. My gosh, my consumption must have went up two, three times the amount easily, easily. But the sugar's gone, right? The sugar's gone, so it's okay. No, it's not okay because there's so much lactose in there. I don't enjoy coffee, not black anyway. During the fast, I had maybe five cups total throughout that nine day period. And really it was just like the first two days, I think just because it was out of habit and it was bitter and I have good coffee. Um, maybe I should have tried a blonde roast. I think that would have worked out because I do have a lot of dark beans. I didn't really experience any withdrawals from caffeine. I think there was a three day period where I didn't have any at all and I was okay. I didn't have any headaches or jitters or anything like that, so. So, dear viewer, did you notice she didn't mention not being crabby? <laughs> Damn. I know I have to get off the dairy. It has to go. At least the heavy cream. Stupid dairy inflammation. That's inflammation in my brain. But I always know it. It's got to go. So, anyway, I'm babbling about this dairy. It's my... It's the last vice. So we have a recipe, um, one of my deep fried creations. It's clean and it's amazing, but we have to put it out before we do BBBE because none of this stuff can be in the house. And this is gonna be the first time that I've ever done BBBE without any heavy cream. What's your poison? I'm also going to be doing strict BBBE plus C. <laughs> plus C. <laughs> plus C, cream. <laughs> Every time I've said I'm going to do it and the cream just kind of creeps its way back in. You know, I think I made it 
a week this last time. So I know that I need to buckle down and I know good things will happen. And it's not always about the weight loss. I'm ecstatic at what I'm at. Where, where am I? But one thing that I have gotten better about is being more consistent with exercise and body movement. Now I'm doing DDP yoga. It's tough, I'm not kidding. I, that second day my legs burned so bad. Not so much my abs, but my glutes and my upper thighs and my shins, it was great. I felt great, but I couldn't work out the next day. I took a ton of vitamin E, took an Epsom salt bath, and I drank some electrolytes. I'll tell you, boom, that was it. That did the trick. I felt great the next day and I was back at it. Aside from everything else, you know, exercise. You know, obviously I've changed my diet dramatically. It's, it's been a little lazy and a little dirty. It's been actually very lazy. And um, I wouldn't say not so much dirty because I don't like um, like salad dressings or anything like that. I just use my own seasonings and whatnot and I just find the cleanest ingredient possible. I guess it depends on uh, which side of the fence you sit on, what is considered carnivore. I mean, I guess carnivore is what it is to you. I mean, what it is to me, it's meat and salt. That's it. Meat, salt, water. That's carnivore. That is the proper human diet. But this has also been called the elimination diet, and that it is. I've eliminated a lot. I really have. And I'm doing great. You know, I'm over a year in this. I've lost this weight. I've maintained it, which I've never done before. You know, I'm down to size 14. I just uh, bought a few more pair, and I even bought a pair of size 12s for motivation, you know. So it's working, you know, not overnight, and that's fine. I'm okay with my progress. But I do know that for my health, the dairy needs to go because it's a slow feed to my addiction with that heavy cream. So, BBBE in April. That's going to do it. It's like you have to shock your body every now first time I did BBBE, even though I allowed cream, I've never had that strict diet before and it shocked my system. So I was able to tighten things up. I'm like, okay, if I did that, I could do this. And then the fast, that was another shock to the system. I learned I can do without caffeine. <laughs> so I was going to be giving up that heavy cream. So I'm really not giving up coffee. I'm giving up heavy cream because I have it more in just my coffee sometimes. Oh geez, sometimes I make little shakes, you know, I just want a snack, I want something, you know, I'll throw a little vanilla in there, whip it up, and to me I'm like, oh, it's a milkshake, it's gotta go. BBB, that's gonna be the difference maker, and um, yeah, April's gonna be really interesting to shock the system again, and uh, get on a strict path, a more healthy path, because that half and half, that's got double, I think it's double, double the sugar. Eggs, egg yolk, that was the whole reason of the frother was putting the uh, eggs in the coffee. Larry got that from Nisha and I looked at him like, that's disgusting. An entire egg, okay? Now, you could just use the yolk and it does good with just the yolk as well, but it's not as frothy as when you use the whole egg. So I'm going to trust her and uh, not looking to eliminate the coffee. It's a little more than just nine days without it. This is, uh, this is a full month. So I know I can do it, but we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. I always say I'm going to do one thing. and <laughs> Oh, it doesn't always go according to plan. So we shall see what happens. But thanks for listening to me ramble on and just talk about my biggest hurdle. Because it is. It's my biggest hurdle cream. Stupid cream, lactose, feeding that sugar addiction. So I, my emotions, I'm a little concerned about that too. If you think about it, I've never really given it up. Thanks for listening to me babble y'all. You know what's going to come up next. No sugar, no carbs, no cheating. And in a couple weeks, it's going to be no cream and it's on. It's game on. So I hope y'all join us and Let's just beat this sugar addiction monster because enough time has passed. Enough's enough. Thank you all for listening. Much love to y'all. Bye-bye.